Hi everyone, it's Misty here. Thank you so much for joining me today. In today's video, I have my first update for the hashtag that's expensive project pen. This is a project created by me. We started this in December 2020 and it ran through December 2021 and we've started a second year. This year it's in collaboration with the Fantastic Ladies. All of the information will be in the description box down below. We started December 28th, 2021 and we're going to end on December 27th, 2022. So it's eight to 10 products. You can choose rolling or not rolling. You set your own goals and it's whatever is most expensive to your own collection. For me, it's like Becca, Rare, Tarte. Some people it's Tom Ford, Charlotte Tilbury, you know, Pat McGrath, really expensive things. And some people it's Milani, Pixie, XX Revolution. So it really is whatever is in your own collection that is the most expensive, you can work on it in this project. So, I have a very, very exciting empty, very exciting, <laughs> and some progress, and yeah, I actually have two empties, so let's get started with the first one. This, this my friends, is the, was the Becca First Light Priming Filter. You can see all the little marks. I made really steady progress throughout the whole entire year, and I finally finished it, and then I just cleaned out the bottle, because I wondered if it, the bottle was purple or if it was just frosted. So I got every last bit of this. I enjoyed it, but as we all know, Becca is no more. And I'm not paying $60 for this on Macari. No, thank you. The next item that has been in here for a while is my Rare Beauty Concealer. So it looks like I have a pretty good line of demarcation, but I'm not gonna mark it. This, I feel like this is lower than what it looks like. Um, but of course I've used it, I just used it recently, so it hasn't had time to settle. So I'm actually gonna remove the um, stopper. I still get product out, but it's starting to get a little bit dry. And yeah, I can see way far down in there. Like, like we're way, we're like way down here, I think. So um, I will update this next, uh, up. Oh, I'll share next update. But this started its life at 39 grams and we're now at 36 grams. So it's gone down three grams. Um, so yeah, this is one that you need just the tiniest bit or it'll be a creasy mess under your eye. So it's not one I would repurchase because it just doesn't fit my needs. And plus I love the pawpaw one from Shop Miss A and that's $1.55. So yeah, still plugging away at this. I'm hoping this isn't empty the next time I see you. All right, let's start with my other empty. That's this. It's not quite empty, but it'll be empty by the end of the day. This is my um, Ultra ultra Repair Cream from um, First Aid Beauty. Yeah, I barely have enough to put it on when I go to bed tonight. This is all right, I didn't love it. I mixed it with um, one of the highlighters, liquid highlighters from um, Revolution that I've been painting. This is all right, I just find, I just don't find that it's very hydrating. <laughs> like, it's not hydrating enough, I need a little bit more than that. So this is an empty, it's gonna be in my January empties. So yeah, this is done. Um, I'm also working on this, this is the Tristique uh, Mascara. I can't really show you any progress with this but I'm working on it. I started the Clinique All About Eyes Eye Cream. You can see I have my everything color coded and I actually put the date on this. I'm not tracking uses on my skincare. I was going to, but I was like, that's just, it's just too much. It's too much. So, but I did put the date that I started this. So I use this morning and night. It was brand new when we started. So I will... I will, tr yeah, I'll mark this. I can see it. So we'll mark that and um, I foresee this being done next month. Um, if not done, pretty daggum close. I go through a lot of eye cream. I use it morning and night and I use it all over my eye area. I know a lot of people are anti-eye cream, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I think if you're super, super dry, you're not. I love it. We're going to keep using it. It's gonna keep on keeping on. Uh, what else? I made progress on this. This is my Fenty Matchstick in Cinnamon. Yeah, Cinnamon. This is a glowy bronzer. Stick. You can see my progress. So I use this every time I do my makeup. I put some on the back of my hand. I mix it with the stick that I'm using in Fantasy from Makeup Revolution. 
which is a matte bronzer. This is a glowy bronzer. I mix them, they go on my face. So I'm making really good progress. I don't know that this will be done next update, but it may be. I'm filming this just a few days early. I have an infusion this week. And that's hit or miss whether I'll feel good after or not. So I'm trying to get everything filmed that needs to go up this week. Um, so yeah, I don't know if it'll be done next update, but we will we'll see what happens. But I really enjoy it, which is so funny because I had the amber matchstick and it was so dry and I hated it so much. But yeah, this one, this one's not bad. Um, I have my What's Up highlighter. I don't know that I've used enough of this for there to be... Any cheat? Yeah, no. I'm, I'm, this is basically brand new. I've used it once or twice. Um, it's a little bit deep for me, so I have to kind of put it on under foundation, but I'm getting some use out of it. Next, we have the Becca <laughs> lipstick. This was brand new when I brought it into this project in December, and a week, a week into using it, it went off. It's off. Like, it's off. Um, I'm not going to put this on my eyes, I mean on my lips, but I have been using it as a cheek blush. Um, it's all kind of, <laughs> it's all kind of going to fall apart, but it makes a really pretty, it really makes a really pretty cream blush. So that's how I've been using it. And my goal is going to be to finish it. That's the color right there. I guess I could swatch cinnamon and cinnamon and cinnamon and And then we'll do... The WhatsApp. What's up? And there you can see it's just a little, it's a little deep. It's a little deep for me. This is really kind of orange, but I think it works out with the other um, one that I'm working on. Last but not least. <laughs> so I pulled in this. This is the Cargo Eyeliner in Plum. And I just want to show you, are they still the same? Is this the right pencil? No, it's not. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. I put the wrong one away. <laughs> Dumb boom. Yeah, dodo bird. Okay, so this is the cargo eyeliner pencil. And I marked it on a piece of paper, but I gotta find it. Look at the difference between this one and this one. It did it again. God damn it. <laughs> okay, so this, look at the difference. Look at the difference in a month. This, the lead keeps falling out. And then I have to literally sharpen it an inch or so before I get more lead. This, this is not even going to make it. This is going to be done in two months. Um, I'm still using it. it. It's okay. It's a... It's not the best formula and it's supposed to be plum and that don't look nothing like no plum, but even this one, they're brand new and they are falling to pieces. So I'm gonna work through these real, real quick, which is fine, but you can see just how much I've used of this. So if this makes it, makes it past March, it'll be a miracle because I've been using it as a black because it's not plum in the least bit. So yeah, that's it. Okay, so for next update, hopefully, hopefully, Hopefully. Oh, I forgot the facial mist. I'm not going to go back and get it. I'll insert a picture. <laughs> so I have been using the Clinique facial mist and that is going to be an empty for the month too. So you will see that in my end of the year empties. Um, I like to use a spray before I go in with toner. And so that's what I've been using it. I've really enjoyed it, but I'm not paying $26 for a spray. I just bought two of the NYX Bear With Me. I really enjoy that one. And they're like $10 a piece. So yeah, that'll be done. So I actually had one, two, three, four, four empties. That's that's not bad, um, right? Am I counting crazy? One, two, three, three. Never mind. <laughs> Whoa, brain. Okay, so on my list to come in is um, this. I think this will be able to come in next month. This is the Rare Beauty Concealer in I think 480? 
yeah, 480 warm. I'm going to use this as a cream bronzer. Um, like I said, I am just about done with this. I think this may be an empty. We'll have to see. And I've been pairing it with this. And you can see just how much or how little I have left of this. So once these two are done, this, this will come in. And then I... Lord. I'm working through a couple of primers. The Wet n Wild and the Flower Beauty. The issue with these are they make you look like a gold bar. Because they're both tinted. They're both tinted. So I was going to start the Rare Beauty Primer, but I just, I want to get these out first because they're just tinted. And then this one today was all peely. So yeah, once these are done, then I will start working on the Rare Beauty um, Primer. And then last but not least are the um, foundations. This one is just about done. So when this is done, I'll be starting a mixture of these and the Flower Beauty ones. So we'll see, we'll see what we can come up with. I think this one is matte. I really think this one is matte and this one's a bit more glowy. So yeah, we're just, we just haven't started it yet, but we're gonna, we're making some progress. I still have some skincare that I need to roll in, but I'm still working on other things. Oh, I started this. I started this today. Um, I think this is going to move into um, like a serum or skincare because this is very, it's like an oil. I don't know how else to describe it. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's like an oil and it just absorbs in. I mean, it's really nice, but I don't know that it's much of a primer. So I'll make sure to get this weighed and we will um, figure out how long it takes me to get through this. But yeah, that's it. Holy Moses, <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate you. Please let me know in the comments down below if you are doing this one. Like I said, feel free to join. You don't even have to do this if you're not on social media. Just do it at home and use up what you have. I, I am excited to work through products this year. And like I said, it can be rolling or not. It's completely up to you. I like to keep my... Um, I like to keep them very, very, very open-ended, but yeah, so that's it guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate you. I hope you are doing well. I love you and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and ask questions for the Q and A if you care to know. <laughs> All right guys, bye for now.